I am literally the most simple person when it comes to skincare. Um, and a lot of people, you know, they look at me weird, like, yo, Tasha, like, you only use soap and water. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel for those of you returning if you're new here my name is Tasha aka Natty and this is Natty's own where I talk about fashion life and style so if that sounds interesting to any of you guys please consider subscribing and follow me over on Instagram for your fashion content inspo and aesthetics and let's connect so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a couple of things that I have been loving this month of May skincare gadgets home decor fragrance so keep watching so the first item is a fashion item and it's actually these earrings that i'm rocking for you guys today they have they are sort of a 3d sort of a 3d design of a flower um, and i just loved how beautiful it looked it looks very unique not your typical hoop earrings or your typical stud it just was giving me a little bit of you know summer vibe spring vibe with the floral element to it the floral detail and i just loved it spoke to me i saw it on the shelf when i was um, walking through zara i think you guys would have seen this in my previous zara haul and when I saw these earrings, I just thought, oh my gosh, okay, they're a bit of me and I have to have these earrings. So these were $15.99 and I think that's a fair price for earrings, you know, with this much detail in it. So I believe these are metal and have gold plating. However, I can't remember because I threw away the box, but I will double check that for you guys and let you know down in the description box below. As always, everything that I talk about in today's video will be linked in the description box below for any of you guys who are interested. So the earrings are quite lightweight, although when I do move my ears around, I feel a little bit of a, you know, that jingle effect. It's not too much, but I can, it's enough for me to hear. So next up for you guys, I've got this foundation that I have been loving from Valentino. And it's the very Valentino Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation. And I've got this in a shade DN2. Now, I've recently switched over from the NARS Sheer Glow, which I believe my color in that is Marquise. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but <laughs> it's the Marquise Marquise. That's my shade. And I just wanted to try something new. You know, I saw the adverts. I walked into um, Selfridges in town and the lady was kind enough, you know, to give us a little um, play around with the new foundation that have come out. And when she tried this on my skin, I was, I was shook because the way this foundation just literally matched me so perfectly, I was, I was sold. Now, I, I bought this foundation round about January time, so my skin was a little bit lighter with the weather being cold and cooler back then. So now that the weather's getting a little bit warmer, with me spending time, a little bit more time outside, I am getting, you know, that summer glow, that summer shade coming through. And the foundation is just a little bit too light at the moment for me. It's still a good shade, but it's a, li a little bit, for my foundations, I quite like them to be just a shade darker so that I can, you know, put the um, concealer under my eyes and everywhere else so that all the overall look can be my shade, if that makes sense. I don't want to go for a, for a foundation that's too light and then when I put my foundation on top it will just all end up looking a bit mismatched and cakey and a bit ashy. So this foundation, I've actually been using it as my concealer under my eyes and it's been doing the job, okay? It's been doing the job. So I'm not mad at this, I love it. I mean the packaging itself is beautiful. The red cap signature Valentino logo. I just love it. So this is on my May favorites because I have been using this a lot this month and it's been doing wonders for me. So yeah, you guys should check this out. So next up, we're still in the skincare realm and I've got for you guys this Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Complex Synchronized Recovery. Basically this eye serum from Estee Lauder. And the reason why I got this is I've been noticing, you know, um, some dark circles under my eye. Maybe it's because I'm staring at my screen a lot more um, with editing videos after work and then working on a computer or a laptop. So I just noticed my under eyes here were getting a bit dark. Um, so I wanted just something that would help me to brighten them. 
So I saw this and this has been recommended by a couple of different people. So I decided, let me just try this for myself. And I've been using this now for about two weeks and I have noticed a slight um, brightening under my eyes and which is fair enough because I've only been using them for two weeks so I guess the more I use them the brighter my eyes the brighter my under eye is gonna get it specifically says night repair so I only use this at night and I love the consistency of this so it's very much like a gel type of texture and you don't need a lot which I realized on the first night because literally I took a massive scoop of it thinking oh yeah it's not gonna you know I'm gonna need a lot for under my eye and I love what it does the moment it hits your skin it starts to not melt but it starts to warm up and it actually spreads quite nicely all over the eye the eyelid and around the eye which I love I didn't expect a little bit to go such a long way so that is a tip if you're going to get this is that literally a little bit goes such a long way which i love because it means it's going to last me a long time and one thing that i loved about how it came is it comes with two of these travel set sizes so this is the big size and then this is the small size i do have to admit though i'm not i'm not big on skincare like i'm not the type of girl that will have you know the 10 step skincare morning nighttime routine i'm not that girl i am literally the most simple person when it comes to skincare um and a lot of people you know they look at me weird like yo tasha like you only use soap and water but i actually only use soap and water and i think it has something to do with growing up in zimbabwe where skincare wasn't really a thing or it sort of is becoming a thing but it's still not really a thing literally growing up it was soap water a flannel vaseline and i think because i have really sensitive skin and i used to break out anything other than vaseline and a bar of you know basic unfragranced soap getting a lotion that was fragrance was that wasn't unscented was a bit of a struggle so it was usually just vaseline so that's how i've carried on and um, through my adulthood and you know till this day basically and never had any kind of acne or anything like that and i've literally just stuck to my soap and water and vaseline and now cocoa butter um but yeah so introducing skincare sometimes can make my skin break out so i don't do too much because i know you know my limits when it comes to trying new things um i just don't want to break out so i'm just like okay introduce things slightly so so far so good this has not made me break out or anything which i'd say is a plus because my skin just yeah you don't play so sticking in the whole sensitive skin topic this is a natural deodorant that i've been loving this month of may so i came across a wild advertising campaign and i was like okay you know what let me give these guys a, a try because i've been seeing adverts from since last year so i decided okay i've just run out of the one that I, that I use so let me just try these guys out and you know what I love their concept so I got the aluminium tin that holds okay no I'm not gonna show you guys that but <laughs> so, so it comes in a aluminium tin just like this and you can pick your color I just chose this gorgeous blue because I don't know what it is about blue at the moment but I am loving the color blue and I chose to personalize it with my name of course because I'm extra and then you also get a choice of three refills so I chose three different scents from the sensitive options that they had so I chose the lily guys I wear glasses so if you see me squinting don't come for me um so I chose the lily and freesia the fresh cotton and sea salt and I think what's currently in here is something, something, something jasmine. Like this, everything is in here. And I believe the deodorant is this much. Yeah. So Wild is currently a May favorite because they have been keeping your girl nice and fresh. So next up, I've got this gorgeous fragrance from mason francis kirk de Jean. and guys i'm pretty sure you would have seen this if you follow me on instagram you would have seen me unbox this and guys i have been obsessed with this perfume as if i don't have other perfumes i have literally this has been the perfume that i've been reaching for the most and you don't really need too much because already the scent is really quite strong it's not 
it's not like overwhelmingly strong but it's strong enough to last the whole day my favorite scent layering combination at the moment with the mfk grand soir is this aqua di palma salando guys these two these two fragrances together it's genius it's genius it's just perfection it's the perfect spring summer scent when i put this on and i layer it with just a little bit of this because this i feel like this is a little bit more stronger than this so i tend to put one spray of this and then maybe like two or three sprays of this one but guys you know when they say you need to confuse the enemy this will confuse the enemy because nobody can tell like what what fragrance do you have on tasha what fragrance i'm like guys don't worry about it but i'm i'm gonna put you guys on okay it's my mason francis kirk de jean grand soir and this aqua de palma in salando beautiful okay so next up i have for you guys a gadget and it's this as usual you know apple don't play when it comes to the aesthetics it's the lacy external hard drive for the mac um and you guys i'm gonna do a video real soon about things that i wish i knew before starting a youtube channel because i did not know <laughs> i have lost so many files due to having to delete things off of my laptop before um saving my youtube videos and i was just like i got to the point where i was like i cannot be i can't be deleting apps and then reinstalling them just so i can save down a video like that i can't it's just too much stress so i got this external hard drive from apple and it's the lacy one terabyte one tb for about 99 slash 100 pounds and honestly it's the best thing ever it comes with the external hard drive and then it also comes with the the wire for it and then you just connect it into your, your MacBook and you're good to go. So next up, I have two pieces of home decor, which I have absolutely been loving and so proud of. And it's this, um, I've got the big one is here, but I can't really lift that up and show you guys right now, but I do have the small one in my hand. And this is from my brand, Eka. And what I wanted to do was bring you guys, you know, a vase that will fit into any home aesthetic, any color, um, any color scheme in the home and just have sort of a neutral a neutral black and white vase that could go into any home. So these are ceramic and they're hand painted and I just absolutely love what they do to a space. You can literally put, I have the big one with the pampas grass by the doorway and it's just, anytime that I walk in, I just feel like, oh, wow, you know? <laughs> and then I have the smaller one on the console table by the hallway um and i just think they just do so much in terms of just adding a little bit of a a fine detail into the home very very good quality you can put flowers in here dried flowers um natural flowers and your space is just gonna look that little bit more you know that little bit more chic a little bit more interesting get you guys a vase from Eka, okay so that is all for today's video. Thank you guys for sticking with me all the way until the end. If you guys enjoyed this, please give your girl a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. Follow me over on Instagram for all your daily fashion inspo and aesthetics. And let me know down in the comments, what are some of your main favorites? I would love to know. And I will see you guys same time for June favorites next month. Bye.